it's the middle of December and uh, traditionally you start a new army for Warhammer um, in the new year um, but uh, no I, I, I want to uh, I want to get cracking and uh, I've decided to get this rather hefty box this is the my new army the Sylvaneth uh, Vanguard and I got this um, I wasn't going to but I, I found it quite quite reduced on eBay from the regular price and even at the regular price it's it's very good value for money if you, if you look at uh, the the units and and price them up individually um, it's quite a saving to buy a box so uh, so this is what I've done and um, right now I'm not sure uh, who I'm going to do first you'll know because it will have a title on this video and you will have seen an image so at the moment I could do the tree lord all right I could do the branch witch which apparently this used to be a standalone little figure you could buy but now you can only get in this vanguard set um, tree red revenants these like people coming out of trees and the Kurnoth Hunters, all right. Um, now, I think what I'm going to do is do what I did with my Slanesh uh, army, which is build up to the big guy, all right? So I'm not doing him first. Um, I'm not doing the Branch Witch first because I want that to go well. And just like Slanesh, um, I, I need to gain experience, especially with these... Uh, wooden people all right I, I i want to get used to and happy with color schemes for doing bark and vines and leaves etc etc all right i've already got some of these which i'll show should i um do these first no i think i'm going to do these these ones first the tree revenants start small work my way up I'm not keen on this this bluey greeny color scheme, um, but I guess I've got no choice. I could go green, but I don't want to go green. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to right. This video then is tree revenants, and then I'll be doing separate videos for the Kurnoth hunters, the old branch witch there, and leading up to the tree lord there. What's really good is you don't have to have these uh, long haired hippie types. That does look like Neil from the young ones. Uh, there's a variant, which is this lot, okay, which are uh, spite revenants. Yes, spite revenants, which are like Vin Diesel types, all right? So that's the type that I've gone for. Um, now it's not silver. So, um, no, these are Sylvaneth. It's not um, Slanesh level of uh, uh, annoying fiddliness, but there is a lot of annoying fiddliness. Um, it's just unacceptably fiddly. There's bits on here that you don't need to put on, you know. These are, uh, uh, anyway, I, I mean, like, okay, the, 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 the left arm, all right, you have to. You have to, instead of just having an arm and bung it on, I mean, the right arm, you, you've got multiple arms. The left arm, you have to choose one of them bits and then choose one of them, them bits. I know it get, get, gives you a variety, but who's looking at an arm? Who's looking at a claw? I mean, really. Um, so that's that then. Got them done. Got them primed. And, and, and this is them. Which one's the champion? Yeah, that's the champion. These are all in primer at the moment. Grey primer. Looks like he's stepping out of his wood suit, doesn't he? All right, so we've got one primer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm babbling. Um, one champion. Then you've got four more vins. All right. Detail is excellent as ever. Max one. Got a touch of the old Nosferatu's about him. Um next one and last one all right so sprayed in gray i was going to base coat them all by the way i'm, I'm going to hold off doing the skin until last um because um yeah there's going to be 
dry brush in a go-go very soon. Um, I was going to paint them all in a dark brown and dry brush up from there. But I think what I'm going to try first, because it will be an awful lot easier, because, you know, there's just so much uh, detail um, on these, and so many little crevices to get into and blah, blah, is I think what I'm going to try is I've got a, quite a number of contrast paints now, is I'm going to put a, a, a dark brown contrast paint over the grey. I don't care if it goes a bit muddy or not too good. It doesn't really matter because, as I say, I'm going to be dry brushing up from that. All right. So that's that. Um, I'll come back once they are all um, um, base coated. Uh, the only other thing to report is I was going to initially, um, you know, do one one unit at a time, move on to the next. But uh, I had built these yesterday but the weather was so manky, I couldn't, um, I couldn't uh, um, go outside to prime them. So I've started on the next lot, whatever they were, these guys up here, all right? And uh, as you can see, I have started on my first one. Okay, so over the gray primer, I put some Agaros Dunes, which did the trick. It basically gave me that color there on the base, but it was all a bit bland. Um, yeah, it, it, it looked brown, but there, it wasn't that interesting. So done something a bit different to actually darken it down, give a bit more warmth to it. That's the word, warmth to it. I put on an unusual color, one you don't really uh, consider using for uh, earthy things and that's Drucci Violet um, just slopped on Drucci Violet um, which which darkened it down warmed it up and uh, yeah I'm very happy with that um, so I think a bit of uh, dry brushing now and then pretty much uh, we'll be done with the uh, the barky bits it will just be the leaves to pick out and then I can uh, crack on with the fleshy bits Okay, so I've been dry brushing them with XV88 um, and then a little bit more with Zandri Dust. Just come on, there we go, just to lighten things up, all right? And then as you can see, I've gone in and all the fleshy bits I've done white. And that was a two-step process. Amazing how when you... Uh, with your just regular eyes, you don't see something. But as soon as you see on a camera, look, I've missed the whole bits there. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is two-step process, the, the fleshy bits. Uh, it's white, ready for the next stage. Um, and what I've done is I've used, I've blocked it in with this white, which I really like because uh, it goes on on one coat. Um, it's a nice thick white, but it's got a bit of a gray tint to it. And then what I've done is just go over the top with this layer. And this is the brightest white that Games Workshop do. Because, um, as I say, this is in preparation for the next contrast that's going on. And um, by having the two whites, I've got some highlights already, which is going to aid me in the next bit. All right. So that's them there. These are so much faster to paint than to build. Um, so... Next thing is just pick out the leaves, um, do the skin. Every so often they've got a little gold chain thing, which I've got to pick out where well, it's going to be gold on mine. Um, and, uh, and then just um, do the base, uh, texture the base. Um, and I'll, I'll come back when they're done. Well, it's a typical English Christmas in that... Uh, it's mid morning, but it looks like it's uh, uh, night time. Uh, it's so grotty and horrible out there. Hopefully with the artificial light, you can see what I've been up to. So yeah, this is the fellas done. I'm not keen on this blue, um, pale blue skin, um, but I can't see any other way of going about it. It needs to be distinctive from the greens and the browns. So I guess I, got, I just got to live with it. Um, so there you go, that's them done, good fun. Um, I, were, I was going to do the eyes in yellow and I picked the pupils out in 
in white ready for it but i quite like them with this uh with this just whiteness um they're a bit nosferatu like um i'm so glad i didn't go for the the hippie version um and i went with these versions but i think this is it this is the only ones of these i'm going to do i'm not keen on this uh this luminous bluey uh flesh shade 